evacuations and road closures along Highway 34 between Loveland and Estes Park are leaving more Coloradans in a panic today. People who live there or who have second homes there were hoping to get back in time to winterize before the temperatures, before the temperatures drop. But now they're stuck waiting and just hoping for the best. Denver 7's Nicole Brady reports from what's become the last stop along Highway 34. At the crossroads of Colorado's two largest ever wildfires, a popular tourist stop is now the last stop. So everybody knows the damn store and uh, people love coming here. But instead of tourists, it's worried homeowners stopping in. Highway 34 is now closed into Estes Park and the surrounding communities, with the East Troublesome Fire inching ever closer. We want people to be able to use our Wi-Fi or phone, and I also brought hot chocolate and coffee, so... If anybody needs it because it's cold out there. <laughs> the cold is now a new concern. Cabins that got a dusting of snow in September aren't ready for tonight's freezing temperatures. On the update, the sheriff said we could go in and winterize because he doesn't want to compound pipes freezing and things like that with the fire. Instead, Michael Kemp and others have been turned around, left to worry about two destructive forces of nature. A 55-gallon tank that bursts in your house will make a... Uh, Pretty severe mess. Others, of course, are hoping for relief from the weather. I hope for snow, lots of snow. Something to calm the flames that have raged for months. Until then. I'm going to be here for as long as they need us uh, because emergency crews are out there. I mean, right outside our door. If they need anything, we're here. Nicole Brady, Denver 7.